Hi, and welcome to Thriver TV, the place to break free from narcissistic abuse with quantum tools and understandings. And we have a really exciting Thriver TV show to do today because can you announce this word in Japan, Simone? Right now, we're in Japan mm. in a city called Fukuoka. Mm. It's the sixth largest city in Japan. Yeah. And Mel has flown over from Australia to Japan, which is where I'm working singing at the moment. Yeah, and Simone is such a good friend. She's the most amazing singer songwriter and I get to listen to her in the bar at the, at the Hyatt where we're at. And she's amazing. She's just amazing. And she writes songs and she, uh, she's a voice coach and she does all this incredible stuff. So it's just such a privilege to be doing this with you tonight. So much fun. And we are in the middle of the night. It's the most ridiculous hour because we've been out tonight, yes. as you can clearly see. Yeah. And we're in the bathroom because there's no light anywhere else to do this. So it's like, it's really impromptu. And the thing is too, we're running off notes because, well, a couple of reasons. I don't have my whiteboard. And normally what happens is I have my whiteboard behind the camera. Cause you know, like in my normal videos, when I do that sort of vacant look to the right, and then I do, well, the truth of the matter is, it's cause I'm buying time and looking at my board to get to the next point. And I can't do that. So we've got notes. And I never knew you did that. I really? never knew that. No. Well, now everybody does, the no, secret's out. Yeah. So you'll just know, you'll just know. So. That's it. So this is what we're doing. And what we're going to be doing is this uh, segment, this Thriver TV is about narcissistic defenses and how we deal with them. And we're going to be going through 10 of the 21 defenses that I write about in my article, which is, are you with a narcissist? The link's going to be in the description on the video. And the last section of that is how narcissists argue, or it's one of the last sections. 21 different defense mechanisms. We're going to cover off 10 of them. And what we're going to do in the role play is the first one is what happens when we're hooked in, we're not up level, we're not in our power and we're handing power over and we're staying attached in the situation. And then the second role play is what happens when we're up leveled and we're able to detach and lay healthy boundaries. Now, clearly, because I am the narcissistic abuse recovery expert, I've got to play Mrs. Nice Guy. Well, that only leaves one role, which is Super Narc, which will be me. Mm. I'll mm. be the Super Narc. Oh, and I'm okay. in a confined bathroom right now with a Super Narc. Yes. I can only imagine. This, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be good. Let the games begin. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna start off with the issue, and the issue is, that you, Supernark, you have been talking behind my back to several family members about stuff that doesn't even resemble the truth at all. You are oversensitive. Nothing bad was said. You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Right. Okay, so that is the first defense and the first defense is avoidance. And what that is, is minimalizing the event or my feelings. So none of it's valid, none of it's important. All right, so this would be my hooked in response to this. It is not nothing. What you did is you told them that I had an affair with a guy at work and that I have serious psychiatric problems. You do, clearly, look at you now. Oh. Gosh, you're nasty. You're just so, you do this really well, Simone. It's my job. <laughs> Super narc. Super narc. Okay, so this mm -hmm. argument could go on and on and on. We could be on one defense mechanism for a week, but we're not gonna do that. Easily. Easily. Well, we all know how that plays out. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go to the second defense mechanism, and this one is ignorance, which is denying even knowing anything about it. Oh, we probably need to do the issue again. It, I think it's helpful if you do. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So you, you, you have spoken to people behind my back about total untruths, which is that I have slept with somebody else behind your back and that I have serious psychiatric problems. I have no idea what you were talking about. Seriously, what are you on about? Oh, what was I meant to say back to that? Okay. <laughs> 
well. It is what you said. It it that's right. That's right. It it is what you said. It is totally what you said. And three different family members have validated that with me. They've said that you said it. And I know they're credible. And I seriously know you're not. Right. Okay, so that was ignorance. All right, so the next one that we're going to look at is when, okay, when narcissists get cornered and what they do, because she's cornered, three people have all said that you did that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're pretty cornered. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is what they do. They come out with all guns blazing and it's that old chestnut, which is projection, which is tit for tat. Well, that's really hilarious coming from you when you told my family last year that I slept with a prostitute, ripped off your money and smeared you to your boss and that's why you lost your job. But that stuff's true. You did that. You literally did that. Like the stuff you're saying, I didn't do it. You did that. That's true. So how, like, how is that even, how do you even compare that? Seriously. Okay, so that's me losing it over that. That would be a hooked in response, yes. clearly. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna to go to the fourth defense mechanism. Okay. So the fourth defense mechanism is narcissistic, childish excuses. I was angry. What do you want me to do when I'm angry? Oh, don't you love that one? Gee, you know what? I don't know. What would I want you to do? Maybe, you know, get in a car and scream. Maybe kick a curb. Maybe, you know, actually go and deal with your ridiculous emotions and process them through to some form of sanity. That's probably what I'd like you to do. Not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Right. Okay. Happen. All right. So we're going to go to the fifth one, which is using allies real or fabricated all the people at work all the people at work think you're nuts because of the way you are so paranoid all the time right. not one of them puts their partner through what you do right right you know the definition of paranoia is actually being worried or concerned about stuff that isn't real this stuff is real how can i be paranoid when it's real and you're telling them that it's not real. It's not real. Right. You're right. Paranoid. You're not real. You're paranoid. You're a freak. You're paranoid. Right. You're a freak. Stop being childish. <laughs> it's okay. Hooked in, clearly. All right. So the sixth defense mechanism is entitlement. It's that look at what I've done for you stuff. Yeah, well, what about all the wonderful things I've done for you? And you go and pull this incident out. You are so ungrateful. It's me who should be jumping up and down and upset. Frig. Seriously, frig. What? Frig. What's frig? Oh, frig off. Frig out. Just friggin' frig. Frig. You can't, you can't say that. <laughs> Well, I can't swear on YouTube, and clearly, if I was, this wasn't YouTube and this was real life, I'd be losing my stuff and I'd be swearing right now because you friggin' drive me crazy, right? Well, don't swear. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm, keep, I'm, I'm keeping it together. I'm not swearing because right. we're just role playing. Yes. And I'll just, I'll just throw something at you afterwards. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, oh my God, this one. Oh my gosh. I could write a whole book about this one. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Do it. Write a book about it. It's hilarious, this one. Yeah, I think you should. It's hilarious. Number seven is shifting focus, which is the displeasure of your body language. Well, look at your body language. What is that? Some sort of mutant face? Is that an it's arm? My face. It is, is an, an arm. arm that wants to slap me. <laughs> yes. I know it does. I can see by the way you're clenching it. Right. And look at your legs. What do you call that posture? What? Angry woman who hates the world pose. Oh! <laughs> what is that? Who can have a conversation with you like that? I just got lipstick on my page. <laughs> Blotting. Blotting, right? <laughs> oh, you're so losing your stuff. <laughs> okay, so the next one. Oh gosh, it's denial. 
Denial is that it's your stuff from the past. You are paranoid. And you suspect all this stuff because of your terrible relationship past. And you project it all onto me. Right. Right. My past. Right. Present. Present. Right here. Right now. Narcissist. Crazy person who... Would you like a mirror? The word projection. I project on you. Would you like a mirror? Have a look at a mirror. Present right here, right now. You are out of line, out of bounds. You're a narcissist, right? Past, well, yeah, a bit of unhealed wounds, but that's all right. Nothing to do with right here, right now. And stop looking at me like that, like this condescending face. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, I've had it with you. Right. Okay, so number nine is that good old-fashioned threatening. Mm. One more word and I'm leaving and I'm never coming back. Promise? <laughs> it was yes. A, oh, right. I'm I I'm, I'm, don't want to see you ever again. Right. I'm out. Friggin' hell. Oof, that's a threat. Number 10, this is the last one. This is the triggering one. This is the one which is maiming. And this is like, I don't know if you've ever like seen Mortal Kombat or like video games. This is like a finishing move. This is like a dirty, unrelated move that is completely not topical about what you're talking about. You're in the argument and the narcissist throws in an atomic bomb. Why are your teeth so white? I can't believe you said that, Simone. That is not even in the script. That is such a low blow. Look, after NARC 1, I had them veneered. Big Fizz. That's the name of the pub at the bar downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the bar? The move on, move on. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I got lost in that. Like, seriously, do you know, I am so sick of this. What is it with my mouth? Two weeks ago, it was the color of my lipstick. Mm -hmm. Somebody else put on YouTube, people have talked about my white teeth. On YouTube, people said my mouth is too big. Fair come, I am paranoid. Sounds like it. I'm actually <laughs> paranoid about my mouth. Wow. Yeah, like, I can't believe you. All right, well now, you wanna do Mamie? Right, you know what? I'm gonna swap roles. <laughs> Cause okay. I'm gonna bone a bit with you. Okay. Okay. What's the that? bone I have to pick with you, I found out about this not so long ago, mm -hmm. that when you and Kathy talk about me, right, you call me MTE. Like, it's not like Mel. <laughs> we spoke to Mel last night. I spoke to Mel. Have you spoken to Mel? It's like, have you spoken to MTE? It's like, you're supposed this, to... This part is true. This part, actually, we're breaking out of the roles. I do. When I'm referring to Mel, I, I have referred... <laughs> As an acronym. I've been wanting to bring this up. MTE. You know, and it's like, I'm not <laughs> it's true, an, it's true. I'm not an acronym. I'm a human being, <laughs> right? So this is like out of bounds behavior. So I'm just, you know, SLW, right? Yep. That sounds like a Tirana. SLR, <laughs> SLW, it's all right. Like. She's mean. You sound like a Tirana. Mean. And KAB, I'm looking at you. Not good enough, lift your game. I'm not an acronym, I'm a human being. I'm Mel, thank you. Well, we may continue. I don't know whether that's good to say, but anyway, anyway. That's all right. I'm gonna, I have inside sources that will let me know whether okay. or not you're treating me respectfully or not. Right. 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 Now that I do respect her. Okay, so let's just, <laughs> let's just clarify because we're breaking out of roles and it's getting crazy, but really I respect her. <laughs> but right now we're returning back to I'm super narc. Right. And you are the hooked in. Oh, Hooked in Mel. Yes. Yes. And the hooked in Mel went through 10 different defense mechanisms mm. with the narc doing the twist and the turn and the three ring circus and everything else. And mm. they can shift and change or you can get stuck on one for days and weeks. And mm. it's horrid. It's yes. horrid. It's horrid. Yeah. It's horrid. It's horrid. That's when you have 600 text messages going backwards and forwards. It's mm. just mad. So we're going to do this again and we're going to do this in the evolve way, the up level way, where I am in a boundary function. Yes. And okay. Yes. So, all right, we're going to start from the start here. Right. All right. So, you 
have been talking about me behind my back to family members and saying that I've been sleeping with somebody behind your back and that I have serious psychiatric problems. You are oversensitive. Nothing bad was said. You're making a mountain out of a molehill. I know you did. Three credible people came forward and told me, I know that you said it. What are you talking about? Okay. So you're denying this. You are not owning it in any way. You're not accountable. You're not being responsible for it. Remorseful for what? I haven't done anything wrong. You are the one making nasty assumptions. Okay. All right. So thank you. I have totally got my answer. I only do respectful, honest, accountable, mature adult relationships. And this clearly, <laughs> right, right, right. It's that's, clearly not this. That's hilarious coming from you. Fine, I don't want to be with you either. Okay, good. Well, that makes it easier for both of us. We're on the same page. No, 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 no. Okay, let me explain. Um, I love you, I'm sorry. See this? See it? It's a hand. Speak to it. <laughs> <laughs> that was not in the script. I know, but it felt good. Don't do that. To your knock at home. No. <laughs> no. I'm going to destroy your life. How dare you throw me away. Karma and God will get you for being such a horrible narcissist. Yeah, whatever. You're nothing that an intervention order can't sort out. Bye. I'm leaving. See ya. Bye. Bye. Stay. <laughs> I'm dragging my wire. Don't leave me. <laughs> no. Stay. Bye. See ya. Don't set a boundary. I'm, the door's shutting, I'm leaving, bye. No, that's not how it's been in the past. <laughs> Come back. All right. All right. All right. So, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> but you can see, this is the thing. You can see what has happened to you. What has happened is, we didn't even have to go past one defense. So it was just the one defense. We didn't have to go to number two and number three and number four. And it was like, because the thing is, if somebody cannot be respectful, accountable and mature, mm. well, then you're dealing with somebody that does not have the resources to be a healthy person in your life. Now, if you're still going to be living with somebody, detach, stop hooking in. If you need to make other arrangements or you, mm. it's going to take a while to get out of there, detach, stop hooking in, stop having the insane conversations that are just going to go nowhere. Have a look at the defenses that I've got in the article because you're going to relate to them so much because you've been going through them. And this is what we do. We just define who we are. We step up, we graduate. It's going to hurt. It's going to be hard, but we graduate. And then we start creating a life that reflects that truth of our graduation. So graduation, girlfriend. Yes. Yeah. High five. Well done. Knock well busting. Done. Yeah. Knock busting. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what? What? Are you going to reverberate in here? Oh, the song. The song. You can do oh it. Oh, gosh. You can do it, Kaya. But we need that. We need that. Song. We need the song. Can you, like, talk for a minute? Sure. Like, the you song? go do that. Go squeeze past the tripod. And you know what I was thinking, though, too? Right. I'm what? thinking it's we've been very lighthearted here. Yes, but, um, it is important that we know that it's incredibly serious sometimes. Mm. So we have given it a lighthearted approach because sometimes yes. it is ridic it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. Yet. Totally um, ridiculous. Yeah, we know there's a serious side. So Absolutely. So and that's an important point. Read the stuff, get into us. Like, just do yeah. that. I'm going to go. You go do stuff. that. You go do that. And while you do that, I'm certainly not going to sing to entertain everybody while we do that. <laughs> the most ridiculous video it's hilarious but Simone is so right this is serious stuff you know like we're having fun we're doing this we're, we're being light-hearted about it but I think you can really get the message and you can see how this stuff plays out and how ridiculous it totally is it is just ridiculous how are you going there Dal? I'm going great good we're gonna set it up there of course <laughs> <laughs> oh, the things that you it's 2 a.m., which is actually 4 a.m. Australia time. Sing it, Mel. I, I, was afraid, I, was I will have no YouTube subscribers if I sing this. 
everybody will unsubscribe me. Is that loud enough? It is. How you did it wrong. Come on. How did I get along? Get here. Oh my gosh. It's too quiet. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't get that part. We planned it. It's all right. We didn't do well we'll plan it. Leave the key, you found it all, but just one song. Back to bother me, go on now, go. Sing it, walk out the door. I'm, I'm getting to the chorus. Don't turn around now. You're, You're not, not welcome, welcome anymore. anymore. Well, well, that's it. The one who tried to hurt me with your body, I think I would crumble. Mm -mm -mm. Do you think I would lay down and die? No, 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 no. I will survive. I will thrive. It's about being I'll a thriver, thrive. right? Not a survivor. No, I'll survive. Got all my life to live. I got all my love to give, and I'll survive. I will survive. I will thrive. Hey, I can't believe it's 2 a.m. in Japan, and we're doing this right now. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so all right. that's good. We've done that. Yeah. Beautiful. So everybody, you know how it goes. Okay, so keep smiling keep healing keep thriving there's nothing else to do and if you want to connect to my free resources do that through the link that comes up on the video absolutely thank you so much thank simone you. Thank, thank you, you. Thank bless you. bless 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 yeah okay lots of love everybody bye bye, -bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, so that's all right well i forgot too